right, so for something like A, I would recommend maybe just multiplying them together. You could simplify it first if you want. It's almost, on something like this, it's almost easier just to multiply them together. Like 2 times 15 would be 30. You have x to the 4th times x squared, that would be x to the 6th, and y to the 5th. As far as the denominator, 3 times 8 is 24. You have x to the fifth and y squared. So as far as, uh, oh, it says assume, a little bit of, assume that all the expressions are defined. So we don't need to do like x cannot equal 0, y cannot equal 0. Don't worry about that. 30 and 24, 6 goes into both of them. 6 goes into 35 times. 6 goes into 24 four times. As far as the x's, are there more x's on top or on the bottom? There's one more x up top. So they're completely gone on the bottom. And then as far as the y's go, you have 5 on top, 2 on the bottom. So there are 3 more y's in the numerator. The y's in the denominator are gone. So up in the numerator, we have 5x y to the third, denominator we just have four. Fantastic. Let's try another one. We have x plus two over three x plus 12. Let's get all these in factored form. x plus two, we'll just throw parentheses around it because we're probably gonna cancel it out with something. Three x plus 12, common factor is three. 3 times x and 3 times 4. We got this x plus 4 over here. x squared minus 4 is the difference of squares. So the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 4 is 2. So that would factor to x plus 2 and x minus 2. Now again, it says assume they are all defined. Um, but if they didn't say that, then you would say x cannot equal negative 4 x cannot equal negative 2, and x cannot equal positive 2. But, psh, another day. So what do you see in the top and the bottom that we can cancel out? I see an x plus 2 that we can cancel. I also see an x plus 4 that we can cancel. So we have nothing left in the numerator. So we're going to write a 1 as a place filler up there. Denominator, I'm going to have the 3 and the x minus 2. Now, I prefer you leave it like that. Leave it in that factored form. You don't need to distribute that. Some people prefer that you multiply everything together at the end. I would say ask the teacher you're working with. But I think it looks better like that. It looks a little cleaner, easier to see if you have any common factors. So I would like you guys to try out these two. I might run out of time on this video, uh, which it will just continue in the next one. But try them out.